hello welcome to another amazing class today's topic is how do animals without ears hear in our previous class we learned that sound waves can travel through liquids air and even solids now let's move on to our lesson proper why some insects and worms have very basic ears that pick up vibrations many animals have a well-developed sense of hearing sometimes much better than our own animals with developed ears include humans just like me and you they have tiny bones that vibrate when exposed to sound waves. The brain converts this vibration into sounds we recognize. Do you know that our ears are amazing? Yes, they are. When sound vibration reach our ears, special parts of the ears turn those vibrations into sound we understand. There are three main parts of the ear. Each part of our ear has a special job to help us hear sounds. One, the outer ear. Two, the middle ear. And the what? Inner ear. Now, let's watch the video to learn more on how the ear works. Happy viewing. Hello, today's topic is how do ear work? The ear collects sound and turn them into messages for the brain to interpret. They also send information about balance to the brain. Three sessions of the ear work together to make this happen. They are the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is made up of the pinnas and the ear canna. These parts gather sounds from the environment and furnace them into the middle ear. The middle ear takes this sound and turns them into vibrations. Sound that comes into the middle ear hits the eardrum, causing it to move. The oscillation tube helps the eardrum to work well by keeping the ear in pressure on both sides. When the eardrum moves, it makes three small bones called the ossicles vibrate. The vibrations are then sent to the inner ear. The inner ear receives vibrations and change them into messages that go to the brain. These messages are called nerve signals. The inner ear is made up of the cochlear vertebral, which includes the semicircular canal. The cochlear has fluid in it and moves like a wave. This happens when vibration comes in from the middle ear. The moving fluid causes air cells to make signal nerves. About sound, semicircular canal fluid to create nerve signal that help with balance. Then the signals from the cochlea travels along the auditory nerves. Signals from the semicircular canal go along to the vertebral nerves. These two nerves come together and lead to the brain. There, yeah, the brain decodes the signal to give about sound and balance. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Make sure you to ask your questions in the next session. Bye for now. Always remember to stay safe.